Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up OpenVPN in the cloud. In this tutorial series, we'll go over setting up the OpenVPN server, as well as the OpenVPN client on your local machine. We're going to be doing this through the AWS Marketplace, and I'll be showing you some security measures to lock this server down. So let's go ahead and get started and launch a new instance via the AWS Marketplace. We're going to type in OpenVPN, and we'll be able to select the OpenVPN access server. We'll scroll down and click Continue, and we'll select the T2 Micro since it's just a demo. Now to keep this nice and safe, we're going to protect against accidental termination. We're going to add a little bit extra storage, and we're going to uncheck the delete on termination because we don't want this uh, volume to get deleted. We'll tag this as OpenVPN. And we'll create a new security group. Now they have these settings already configured for us, so we're going to go ahead and launch with this. And we'll go ahead and launch the server. So now that our server is launched, we need to attach an elastic IP to it, just because we don't want this IP address to ever change. So we'll go ahead and allocate a new IP address. And we're going to associate this IP address with our new instance. And we'll click Associate. And now we need to SSH into this box. And we only need to do this really one time. So we're going to do this over the public IP address. And when we log into this, we're going to log in as OpenVPN AS. And that is what's default on this AMI. And so it's going to ask us for a couple settings. We're going to say yes, and then we're going to use the default for everything that they ask here. And all these settings, just keep clicking enter. These should just all be the default. By default, the user is OpenVPN. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the password of the OpenVPN user. So we'll do this by saying sudo passwd openvpn. And I'm just going to make the password openvpn. Great, so that's set up successfully. So now we don't need to log into the server anymore, so we can exit. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to the public IP address, and we're going to type in HTTPS and the public IP. And we'll click Advanced and Proceed because the SSL cert isn't verified. And we're going to log in as user OpenVPN. And remember, we changed that password to OpenVPN. And so we're going to connect. And all we're going to do is we're going to download the OpenVPN Connect. And so now we'll go ahead and install this. And all you'll simply do is just walk through the screens. And this should be very similar for Windows users as well. And now once it's installed, you'll see it in the top of your uh, navigation bar. And we'll go ahead and click Connect. We're going to type in OpenVPN and that password of OpenVPN, and we'll click Connect. And we'll give it just a second. Make sure you click Yes to that. And you can see we are now connected to the VPN. So now a couple security measures we're going to want to do is we're going to want to go to slash admin. We're going to log in, same thing, OpenVPN, and OpenVPN, we'll sign in. We want to lock down this uh, admin portal to only the internal IP address of the server. So we're going to go to Server and Network Settings. And we're going to scroll down, and we're going to uncheck Admin Web Server and Client Web Server. And we're going to click Save. And we'll update Running Server, and you'll notice everything will break right now, because we've currently disabled this over the public IP. And so now what we want to do is we want to go to the private IP address of the server. 
and we need to go to port 943 and we can say slash admin and now this will work as our new admin page and we do this just so we can lock this down so that no one from the outside world can access this the only thing that you can access is the public IP address on HTTPS just to connect to it and so a couple other security things we're gonna go to security groups we're going to go to the security group that they created since we don't need SSH access anymore. We can go ahead and remove that and click save. And that should be all we need to set up. And now you have access to the entire private network of your subnets. So that concludes our tutorial on setting up OpenVPN in the cloud. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.